अपना कोर्स गेट स्मार्ट गेट अहेड now we come to the fourth moment which is ptosis so we've done with uh, skewness and we we've seen that skewness could assume the value 0 indicating a symmetric distribution it could uh, assume a positive value indicating positively skewed distribution or a negative value indicating a negatively skewed distribution and we've also seen how mean median mode they map with respect to each other in case of the three in case of symmetric distribution mean is equal to median is equal to mode in positively skewed distribution mean is greater than median which in turn is greater than mode and in negatively skewed distribution your mean is less than median which in turn is less than your mode let's look at ketosis now ketosis tries to measure the peakedness of the distribution so formally put ketosis is the measure of degree to which a distribution is more or less peaked than normal distribution going forward we will discuss normal distribution right now at this moment take normal distribution to be the benchmark distribution so if i have a distribution which is more peaked than normal i would say it has a greater ketosis if it has if it is less peaked or it's flatter than the normal distribution i would say its ketosis is going to be lower than normal so how is ketosis measured well no marks for guessing we looked at the progression summation x by n summation x minus mu square by n summation x minus mu cube by n and here we have ketosis summation x minus mu raised to the power 4 divided by n so there we have the expected value of r minus mu raised to the power 4 this entire thing divided by standard deviation of 4 because that gives me a better sense of the coefficient of ketosis now given this expression you can clearly see that it would always assume a positive value or at least it would not assume a non uh, it would never assume a negative value right so a leptocurdic distribution is one which has a ketosis anywhere between 0 and 3 okay a normal distribution has a ketosis of 3 a leptocurdic distribution has a ketosis lower than that of normal and a leptocurdic distribution okay i think i stand corrected a leptocurdic distribution has a ketosis greater than 3 so it's more peaked than the normal it's a platycurdic distribution which is going to be flatter than the normal so let's see how the shapes look like leptocurdic will have greater percentage of small deviations from the mean and greater percentage of extremely large deviations from the mean a mesocurdic has the same ketosis as normal distribution and it's a platycurdic which is the distribution which is flatter then your normal distribution and it will have a ketosis lower than that of normal distribution so let me repeat so three terms which are important in this context leptocurdic mesocurdic platycurdic let's understand mesocurdic distribution or a mesocurdic uh, a distribution is what we refer to normal distribution as so that's a benchmark what's the ketosis value out there it is equal to 3 a leptocurdic distribution is one which has a ketosis greater than 3 that means it's it's going to be more peaked than the normal distribution a platycurdic distribution would be one which has a ketosis lower than that of normal that means it would have a ketosis lower than 3 right so how would the shape look like well this is how it would look like So look at this. Your red uh, dotted curve is leptocurdic. The black dotted curve is mesocurdic or the normal, and the red dotted curve is platycurdic, which is flatter than the normal. Now let's look at the characteristic of the distribution. If you if you tread along the blue dotted line you see that it's thicker than the 
it has a thicker tail than the than the distribution as indicated by black that means the leptocurtic distribution has a tail thicker see look at the thickness of this tail is more than that of normal distribution and it is much more peaked than normal distribution correct but it has some vacuum out here it has a hollowness out here that means most of the data points in a leptocurtic distribution are either clustered around the mean or they are very far away from the mean there are fewer points which are at an intermediate distance from the mean because you look at the vacuum out here so you you can clearly see that there's lower probability being raked up as far as the intermediate points are concerned correct now a platycurtic distribution is flatter than normal so you clearly see that it has fewer points closer to the mean and fewer points which are further away from the mean but you have great many points which are at an intermediate distance from the mean so the interesting part is that you can have uh, three distributions which might have the same mean as it looks like from this graph the same variance the same skewness but different kurtosis and and that could be of uh, significance to us as the investors because if you look at the leptocurtic distribution while it might give me the same return as indicated by the normal distribution it also indicates a, a grave risk of getting returns which are far lower on or far or are on the far lower side which indicates that there is a, a massive downside possible so uh, which would be of concern to me as an investor so kurtosis becomes a relevant risk metric to look at unfortunately most of us try to get uh, you know try to limit our analysis to variance and look at standard deviation as a representation of risk but we should be looking at at, at kurtosis to get a sense of of the downside risk that could be possible in an investment so uh, the other two terms which don't get very often talked about uh, so let's have them a score skewness essentially what we are trying to do is we are looking to map the skewness of uh, of of uh, one distribution with respect to another so a statistical measure that calculates the symmetry of a variable's probability distribution in relation to another variable's probability distribution symmetry all else being equal a positive cos skewness means that the first variable's probability distribution is skewed to the right of the second variable's distribution so this is clearly a cross moment that we are talking about right so we had mean we had uh, standard deviation we went and then discussed uh, uh, skewness kurtosis but do remember we also discussed covariance right that's again a, a cross moment and then co skewness and going forward let's also have a look at co kurtosis when we try to map the kurtosis of one distribution to another take a minute to go through before we move on to the next slide so a statistical measure that calculates the degree of the peak or the peakedness of the variable's probability distribution in relation to another variable's peakedness apna course get smart get ahead